The eruption of Mauna Loa volcano has migrated from the summit into the northeast rift zone, where fissures are feeding several lava flows. New photos of the eruption showing the lava migrating from the summit were published this morning on the HVO website. According to an updated volcanic activity summary from the U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, an overflight confirmed fissures at high elevations within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park are feeding lava flows upslope of the Weather Observatory. Emergency officials say the lava flows are not threatening any downslope communities at this time. Here is the latest from the Hawaii County Civil Defense. This is a civil defense message. This is an eruption update for Monday, November 28th at 6.30 a.m. USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory confirms that lava has exited Mauna Loa Summit and can be seen on the northeast flank. The northeast flank is not populated and does not pose a threat to any communities at this time. The National Weather Service has issued an ashfall advisory for all districts of Hawaii Island through today. Trace amounts of ashfall and volcanic gas is expected. Due to the ashfall advisory and gases, the following are issued. People with respiratory illness should remain indoors. If you must go outdoors, use face coverings to prevent inhaling ash particles. Shelters are open at the old Kona Airport in Kailu Kona and Kau Gymnasium in Pahala. You've been informed of any changes that affect your safety. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. This photo shows HVO field crews on the northeast rift zone near the summit, making observations and collecting information. Emergency officials have been encouraging residents to familiarize themselves with these official lava inundation zone maps made by the USGS. Scientists have mapped more than 500 individual lava flows on Mauna Loa, which have originated from vents in the summit area, rift zones, and flanks of the volcano. Their locations help identify the approximate pathways for future flows that erupt in similar locations. Officials say the lava on the northeast rift zone is upslope of the weather observatory seen here on this map. Regarding schools, the Hawaii Department of Education says no closures are needed at this time. Officials say they understand there is currently a lot of anxiety and uncertainty in the community. Passengers with flights to the Hilo and Kona airports are being advised to check with their airlines prior to heading to the airport due to the volcanic activity. Big Island Video News will be following the eruption as it develops, and we will be updating our media channels throughout the day.